In this example, I want to solve this trigonometric equation. And what type of solutions do I want in this problem? Well, my answers have to be in radians, and I want the solutions between 0 and 2 pi. So let's look at our equation. 2 sine squared theta minus 3 sine theta plus 1 equals 0. How many trig functions do I have? Well, I have a sine squared theta and a sine theta, so I just have one trig function, the sine of theta. And notice the argument of each trig function is the same. All angles in this problem are theta. So this is just a quadratic equation, or degree 2 equation, in sine theta. And what we want to ha do for every quadratic equation is get 0 on one side. I'm lucky, I already have 0 on one side. So we're either going to factor it or use the quadratic formula. There's two different ways you can factor this. If you're comfortable factoring, leaving the trig function in the problem, go ahead and do that. And if I need to get a 2 sine squared theta, that means I have to have a 2 sine theta in one of my parentheses and just a sine theta in the other. So when I foil this out, 2 sine theta times sine theta gives me 2 sine squared theta. Now let's look at the signs in the parentheses. I know I need two numbers that multiply to a positive, add to a negative. That means both of my signs have to be negative. Multiply to 1, not too many choices, 1 and 1. Foil it out in your head to see if you land up where you started. 2 sine theta times sine theta is 2 sine squared theta. The middle two terms, the outer term, 2 sine theta times negative 1 is negative 2 sine theta. Inner, negative 1 times sine theta is negative sine theta. Those add up to negative 3 sine theta. Last term, negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. So yes, this factored successfully. But say you have a lot of trouble factoring with a trig function in there. There is a way around that you can let u equal sine theta. And then just rewrite this equation instead of 2 sine squared theta, you're going to have 2u squared minus 3 times sine theta, which is minus 3u, plus 1 equals 0. And if you're more comfortable factoring this way, do it that way. Then again, you can factor it just like I did on this one where I use trial and error. If you don't use trial and error or guess and check, that's fine. There are a lot of other methods for factoring. You can factor by grouping or using divide and slide. But then if you factor it this way, the next thing you have to do is substitute back in for sine theta. So you will land up with 2 sine theta minus 1 times u, remember, is sine theta minus 1 equals 0. So it doesn't matter whether you factor it this way or you straight factor it this way. You're going to get the same answer. Now, once you've factored it, two things multiply together equaling 0 you're going to set each of them equal to 0. So 2 sine theta minus 1 is 0, or sine theta minus 1 equals 0. That's meant to say sine theta. Sorry, there's such a big gap there. Solve each of these linear equations. Add 1 to both sides in the first one. Divide both sides by 2 and I get sine theta equals a half. And the second one here, sine theta minus 1 equals 0. Add 1 to both sides. The sine of theta equals 1. You should recognize these values of a half and 1. They're values on the unit circle. But before we go to the unit circle, let's look at the sine of theta equals 1 half. Which two quadrants is the sine of theta positive in? Remember the mnemonic, all students 
take calculus. That means all trig functions are positive here. The sine and its reciprocal are positive here. Tangent and its reciprocal are positive here. And cosine and its reciprocal are positive here. So I need the sine to be positive. So I need a quadrant one angle and a quadrant two. So I'm going to have to look for an angle in quadrant one and an angle in quadrant two whose sine, or remember on the unit circle, this is the y value on the unit circle equals one half. And then this one, the sine of theta is one. Remember values of zero and one always occur on an axis. So let's go look at the unit circle. And I need an angle in quadrant one whose sine is equal to one half. So here's the y value of one half. So one of my answers is pi over six. Go over here. Here's my other one, five pi over six. So those are the two angles whose sine is equal to one half. The other one said the sine of theta was equal to one. So I need to find a y value equaling one and it's on one of the axes and here it is on the positive y axis at pi over two. So let's write out our answers. I get theta equals pi over six. I get theta was equal to five pi over six. And up here, I got theta equals pi over two. So how many answers did I get in this equation? I have three answers between, remember we were required to find the answers between zero and two pi.